Hello everyone, this is Mamita Mond and today we are going to solve some exercise questions 1 to 22 of exercise 3F of chapter 3. Chapter name is playing with numbers of class 6 of composite mathematics textbook. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for, for getting notifications of future videos. And please visit my blog masquerade.com for more information regarding the test solutions of CPSC, ICC and other state board. Let's get started and solve some questions. And if you like this video then please click the like button. Today we will learn and solve exercise 3F questions 1 to 22 of chapter 3. Chapter name is playing with numbers. And topics are list common multiples, properties of HCF and LCM, and find LCM by using HCF. Let's solve some questions. Now, question number 21 High order thinking skill, hot questions. I am first week. I am the fifth multiple of the LCM of 2 and 7. What number am I? We have to find the number which is the Fifth multiple of the LCM of 2 and 7. So LCM of 2 and 7. 2 and 7 is 2 multiplied with 7. That is 14. So LCM of 2 and 7 is 14. And fifth multiple of LCM. So fifth multiple. Fifth multiple of the LCM of 2 and 7. Fifth multiple of LCM is 14. Fifth multiple of 14 is 70. So what number am I? So number is 70. Number is 70. Now question number second B. The LCM of two numbers is 24. And their sum is 14. What are the numbers? Their sum is 14. If we take numbers 2 and 12. Sum is 14. 2 plus 12 is 14. Then if we take 3. 3 plus 11. This is 14. 4 plus 10. First, we will check which number satisfies these two conditions. That is, LCM of two numbers is 24 and the and sum is 24. So, sum is 14. So, LCM of, mm, so sum is 14. That is, 2 plus 12 is 14. 3 plus 11 also 14. 4 plus 10 is 14. And 5 plus 9 14. 6 plus 8 is 14 and 7 plus 7 is 14 7 plus 7 is 14 but here if uh, LCM of 2 numbers is 24 here LCM if we take these numbers 2 and 12 then LCM of 2 and 12 is not 14 LCM of 2 and 12 is not equal to 14 so this is wrong and LCM of 3 and 11. LCM of 3 and 11 is 3 multiplied with 11. That is 33. So this is not equal to 14. So this is not equal to 24. 24. This is 24. And 4 and, 12, and, 4 and 10. LCM of 10, 4 and 10 is 4 and the, this is 5. LCM is 20 and 20 not equal to 24 so this is this is not correct and 5 plus 5 and 9 if we take 5 and 9 lcm of 5 and 9 is 45 and 45 not equal to 24 lcm of two numbers is 24 so this is also incorrect now 6 and 8 if we take 6 and 8 so lcm is Thank you. 
El CMO. Six and eight. Six is two, three, and eight is two multiplied with two multiplied with two. That is two multiplied with two multiplied with two multiplied with three. That is twenty four, which is equal to twenty four. So this is correct. And if we check these two numbers, seven and seven. So LCM of seven and seven is seven. So this is not equal to twenty four. So the LCM of two numbers is twenty four, and their sum is fourteen. The numbers are six and eight. Six and eight sum is sum is uh, see, sum of the number six and eight is fourteen, and LCM of the number six and eight is twenty four. So the numbers are six and eight. So the numbers are six and eight. Sum is six plus eight is fourteen, and LCM LCM of six and eight is twenty-four. LCM is twenty-four, and sum is sum is Sum of six and eight is fourteen. So the number, so the numbers are six and eight. Numbers are six and eight. Now question number third bit. I am the square of the number that is sixty-eight less than the product of the LCM of two and three. And the LCM of three and four. What number am I? LCM first find out LCM of two and three. LCM of two and three is six. Two multiplied with three is six. And LCM of three and four is three multiplied with four is twelve. Then the product, product of the LCM of two and three. So the product, product of the LCM of two and three, six multiplied with LCM of three and four, twelve. That is seventy-two. I am the square of the number that is sixty-eight less than the product of. So seventy-two minus sixty-eight is four. And I am the square of the number four. Square of four is square of four. It's four multiplied with four, which is sixteen. Square is multiplying the same number two times. That is four multiplied with four is square of four. That is sixteen. So the number is sixteen. So I am the square of the number that is sixty-eight less than the product of the product of product of the LCM of two and three and the LCM of three and four. The number is sixteen. Now question number twenty-two. High order thinking skill. Hot question. What is the least number which, when decreased by four, is divisible by each of the numbers ten, fifteen, twenty, and twenty-five separately? First, find out LCM of ten, fifteen, twenty, and twenty-five. Ten, fifteen, twenty, and twenty-five. Divisible by five, two, three. Four, five. Then it is two, one, three, two, five. Now LCM is five multiplied with two, 
multiplied with 3, multiplied with 2, multiplied with 5. And it is 5 to the 10, 10 to the 30, 30 to the 60, 60 multiplied with 5 is 300. LCM of the numbers 10, 15, 20 and 25 is 300. Now what is the least number which when decreased by 4? So the least number decreased by 4 is divisible by each of the number. So the least number is Three hundred. We have to add a this four. That is three hundred four. And three three hundred four is the least number, which when decreased by four is divisible by each of the number ten, fifteen, twenty, and twenty-five. So three hundred four is the answer. So the least number is three hundred four. subscribe my youtube channel then please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any doubts then please write in comment section and i will reply keep learning keep watching and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you